What's going on guys? It's that guy with movies back here again. Today we're going to be doing some more shopping. So we're, I'm thinking of going to Savers, Best Buy, and Walmart. So let's go to all those places and we'll see what they have today. Hopefully they got some good 4Ks or maybe just, you know, good movies in general or even like DVDs and that. So let's go and we'll see what they have. Alright guys, heading on into Savers right now. So let's go inside and see what they got. Alright guys, looking through the movies here at Savers, see what they have here, and um, not too much on the first shop right here, it's just Il Volo. Also got a Christmas Carol here as well, this is brand new factory sealed, oddly enough. But, uh, what else they got here? Remember Before Christmas, Canadian thing. Uh, Terminator 2 Judgment Day, this is the Ultimate Edition with the Slipcover, the metal one. Kind of cool. Eight seconds. Actually, I don't have that one. I might get that. Walking Tall, that one's not too bad. It's not too bad of a movie. I like that one. Is this. Is it Underworld, maybe? Uh, what else? Still Ted's Bogus Journey. Uh, down here, there's one that I don't see often. Like, I see the movies often, but not in this, like, double feature set, the Fantastic Four ones. The old ones, not the, you know, that new one. Like, garbage. But, down here. It's another Luke Perry one. Gonna rest in peace, but... There's that. Uh, well, does Disney have any sort of faith in Endgame? Because it's already out. I don't know. I'm really excited for Endgame, but you know, you can buy it here at Savers because it's already out. Mm. This is kind of a neat triple feature Serpico, Internal Affairs, and Narc. Down here, then you got all the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle ones. One to three, the original ones. Down here. <clears throat> Not too, too much. And then, oh, it's this Yuletide fireplace in a box. And then down here. Mm, not too, too much, but yeah. That's what's on the first shelf. Alright guys, now on the other kind of side section here. They've got an HD DVD of Planet Earth, the complete series, but unfortunately, if I can get it open here, the thing is kind of loose, so... I don't think I'll get that. Eight bucks, it's not a very good deal for that. But, uh, it's not like they even have, like, any good Blu-rays here. National Geographic Great Migrations. Yeah, not really interested in that. But, uh, look in there. And then down here. Not too, too much. This one. The underneath. <coughs> oh. Yeah, I probably would not get that because of that, but there's that one here. It's apparently from Steven Soderbergh. It doesn't really seem like a movie that he would do. I don't know why I just grabbed that, but down right here. got quite a few SEAL titles down here as well. Like they've got Wind Talkers, The Big Chill, Broken Arrow, and Kingdom of Heaven. They got those. Those are all sealed. But nothing really there. Down here, got a lot of these old Michael Keaton Batman ones. Uh, there's another sealed title, Matrix Revolutions. Unfortunately, all those I just showed are quite common. And finally, down here, not too too much. But there is the section. All right, guys, heading on into Best Buy now. So let's see what they have. Alright guys, I thought I'd just show you what's new inside Best Buy here. They got Creed, both on 4K and Blu-ray, which I already have. I do, or I did get the Blu-ray. I did an unboxing on that, so I'll link it down below. And then uh, you also have the DVD here as well. And also Instant Family came out on uh, Blu-ray and DVD. It looked like there's no 4K. But uh, there's this new series here called Krypton. I'm not entirely sure what this one's all about, but... That came out both on Blu-ray and DVD as well. And uh, yeah, just thought I'd show you guys what's brand new. Alright guys, heading into Walmart right now, so let's go in and see what they have. 
All right, guys, we're inside Walmart right now taking a look at their new release movie section here. And it looks like Fantastic Beasts, The Crimes of Grindelwald came out uh, this past Tuesday. They have the uh, the 3D version here, plus the, uh, the regular Blu-ray here. The Blu-ray plus DVD plus digital plus extended cut. So that is a lot of stuff that is included in that package. But looks like for the high-definition formats, they are sold out of the 4Ks right now. <clears throat> But they do also have the uh, the DVDs here as well. Which I, I kind of like that cover art a little bit more. But uh, all that's there. They have um, a couple rows of that. But yeah, this one was not very good at all. I did not like this one one bit. Uh, I, I did I did kind of like the first one, but not not that one. That one was awful. But uh, down here, I think, I believe the favorite came out today. This one's only out on Blu-ray and DVD. So you guys can see right here. Yeah, it only came out on Blu-ray and DVD, I believe. But that is it for this side. So I'm just going to spin around to the TV shows here. I believe Fear the Walking Dead, the complete fourth season, came out here on both Blu-ray and DVD. Here is the, the Blu-ray. No slipcover or anything like that. And Rick and Morty, the complete seasons one and three, that might have came out. I'm, I'm not too sure about that one though. But down here, it looks like it's just all old stuff. But swing around to this side, and yeah, just Fantastic Beasts. Those have Instant Family here. That one came out a couple weeks ago. That one's they only have it on DVD here. But there's that. And then over here, Rick and Ralph is pretty old, but they have. Full stock for Blu-rays, DVDs, and 4K. I do kind of like the 4K cover as well. Unfortunately, Disney is doing these like um, like bilingual slip covers now. I hate how they do that. That looks horrendous. But yeah, they have that here. That's pretty much all that came out, I think. So not a very good release week. They also have some more stuff over here. This is just like their other kind of section here. Of course, they're all sold out of the Fantastic Beasts, DVDs, Blu-rays, 4Ks, all that. Those are all gone. But it looks like this movie came out too from VVS Films, London Field, starring Amber Heard and Billy Bob Thornton. They have that one on Blu-ray and DVD as well. I don't know what that is. As well as this movie called Piercing. This one, once again, I have no idea what this is. Looks like it just came out on DVD, so doesn't appear to be that major release. Same thing with London Fields as well. But uh, down here, I saw this, Narco Season 3. Unfortunately, oh well, yeah, okay, never mind. English version included. They have Narco Season 3 on Blu-ray, but it appears to be this like really like bootleg-ish cover. From apparently this is from Galmont, but this looks really like bootleg-ish for some reason. It's just really giving me the same vibe. Same, same thing with the the DVD as well. Appears they put more effort into the DVD release, but oddly enough, they're both the same price. They're about thirty bucks, but you know there's that. And it looks like Burning might have came out as well from Wellgo USA, but they have that one on Blu-ray and of course DVD as well. And does have this as well. I don't know why this one is so low on the thing, but they have Captain America: The First Avenger. This came out on 4K. Um, yeah, the slipcover is not in very good shape, but they have this one as well. And like I said, with Wreck It Ralph, they have the English and French on it, which, like I said, looks horrible. But if this one drop does eventually drop in price, I think I might grab this one. It's it's a decent movie, but it's not my favorite MCU one, but. You know, the, these slipcovers aren't too bad, but I'm not really a big fan of them, though. Wish they could have done something a little bit cooler with that. But other than that, I'm not seeing too, too much else here, so there's that. After seeing that Captain America First Avenger on uh, 4K, I wish they could have done something like this for the uh, the Blu-ray, or the, the 4K slipcover. I know Best Buy did this for their Steelbook because they did issue out a Steelbook for it. But um, I wish I could have used this as their slipcover and not like those really bad, like boring gray ones. I just, I don't know. But 25 bucks for that DVD, that is way overpriced. Especially when I found my copy on Blu-ray at Goodwill for like 3 bucks. 
That was a really great deal, but uh, I did hear that they are releasing Winter Soldier and Civil War out on 4K as well. I'll definitely be getting those on 4K just to get that Atmos and the better picture quality. I'm really excited for those ones. But uh, yeah, 25 bucks for Winter Soldier on DVD and 20 for Civil War. I don't know. Like I said, First Avenger was new. It was okay. But Winter Soldier, Civil War, you gotta love those ones. Definitely. Winter Soldier is definitely probably my second favorite out of all the MCU. And Civil War is probably up there too. But yeah, those ones are there. Just thought I'd make special mention with the First Avenger slipcover. Alright guys, just got back home from Savers, Best Buy, and Walmart, and sorry if I couldn't take a whole lot of footage, especially at Best Buy, because, you know, they were playing loud music, so I couldn't really talk over, you know, the music, or there was stuff playing in the background, I couldn't do that, there were employees walking around, so I couldn't really be, like, discreet or anything like that, and Savers, just too busy there, and yeah. So, like, at least I got a, a lot of footage at Walmart, just showing you guys what's brand new there, what just came out, just other stuff that's there. And so now I'm home, and I'm going to show you guys what I picked up today. So, I picked up three things at Savers, and then I picked up three things at Best Buy. Unfortunately, there was nothing at Walmart. I did get another shelf for, you know, movies and that. I am planning to move my room downstairs so I have a bigger area to shoot in maybe I'll have like a backdrop of some of my movies behind me and that maybe they'll look a little bit better than just you know showing my whole room behind me and that but anyway though I just got a shelf at Walmart and then the the six things from the other two places so now I'm going to show you guys what all I picked up so I picked up three 4ks at Best Buy so I'll show those first and then I'll go on to the you know the DVDs so first 4k that I picked up at Best Buy was one that I got was a part of a trilogy that I got last time that I was there and you know I just held off on the second part of this trilogy I do have the first and third ones on 4k now as well as on blu-ray and I decided to pick this one up just to complete the trilogy on 4k and that is the cinematic universe edition of Avengers Age of Ultron like I said, I had the first one and Infinity War on Blu-ray already, as well as I have all three of them on Blu-ray. But thought I'd pick this one up as well on 4K, just to complete the whole trilogy. And I do want to give this one another rewatch because I didn't really care for this one when I first watched it. So this would probably give me a good chance to check this one out again and just see what I think of it. It is definitely a lesser MCU movie. Because Joss Whedon, who's the director of this movie, and the the writer, yeah, the writer, writer and director of this movie, he basically couldn't do what he wanted with this one, and overall, he just kind of decided to stop directing movies for Disney after Age of Ultron. This is definitely a movie that was ruined by executive meddling, and the when the trailer was released, and when the movie was released, there was a big disparity between both of those, the trailer and the movie. And unfortunately, the trailer for this movie looked really, really good. Unfortunately, the movie did not live up to the hype. But yeah, Age of Ultron, there's my little tirade about that. But it does it does come with a really neat slipcover. I do like how it's shiny in back, but I just I really don't care for these slipcovers. Just so plain. I wish they could just go back to their regular old you know, like the classic Disney slipcovers. I wish they could go back to doing those. But yeah, Age of Ultron. Thought I'd pick it up on 4K so I can give this one an honest rewatch and I'll see what I think. But overall, I I thought Ultron was a pretty weak villain in this one. Just kind of not the really scary type of villain that they made him out to be in the trailer. And, you know, the, this movie was pretty much ruined by the executives at Disney who just wanted to make money over making a good movie. But, yeah, Age of Ultron, I'll give it a rewatch, and I'll see what I think of it after that. And then the next one here is one that I just bought the second one for, and I thought I'd pick up the other one, and that is Deadpool, or the first one, and that is Deadpool. This being the 4K Ultra HD plus Blu-ray plus digital combo pack. I did pick up Deadpool 2 recently, so I thought I'd decide to pick up the first one as well, and I do really like the first Deadpool, however I do prefer Deadpool 2 over this one right here. It's just a matter of personal opinion, but 
yeah, Deadpool. I thought it was kind of slow at parts, but Deadpool 2 it was just action all the way through. I really got into Deadpool 2. This one, is, it is a pretty good movie. It's funny, of course. Ryan Reynolds kills it as Deadpool. He is amazing. The, the part of Deadpool was, he was pretty much born for the part of Deadpool. But yeah, I thought I'd pick this one up just to complete the whole collection. And I did try the uh, the Atmos track on this one because the Blu-ray does not include the Atmos, only this 4K does. And it sounds amazing, especially on the, the highway scene at the beginning of the movie when, um, you, you know, the highway, the highway part at the beginning of the movie. But this one does come with the code and everything, the Ultra HD disc and then the Blu-ray disc. I did use all these codes already, so I'm not uh, not giving any codes away in this video. But yeah, Deadpool. Thought I picked that one up just to complete the duology. And then the last one I picked up pretty much because this one was cheap and it was only 15 bucks. It had the slipcover still and everything. Actually, the only one with the slipcover, and that is Kingsman: The Golden Circle. I did buy this one on. Uh, Blu-ray already. I have both Kingsman movies on Blu-ray, this being the sequel. They did not have the Secret Service there, but they did have the Golden Circle. And watched this one a couple of years ago, and it was very... Meh. It was, like, it, was, it wasn't bad, but it could have been a whole lot better. See, uh, I found Kingsman the Secret Service to be a really fresh, really original take on the, uh, the spy genre, as well as a kind of a send-up of it as well kind of making fun of all the tropes, you know, with the James Bond ones and that, kind of making fun of all that, and this one tried to kind of do the same. Overall, I just thought this one was really kind of messy and cluttered in that, but it still had very good editing, very good action, and, you know, Matthew Vaughn really knows how to direct and write a movie as well, but, uh, yeah, Kingsman of the Golden Circle, it wasn't bad, it was well, I didn't. I didn't really care for the whole statesman thing. I thought. I thought it would have been better if they just kind of left it in England and that, and you know they shouldn't have introduced the stupid statesman. But I think they're making a movie based off of it, like a spinoff movie. I don't know how well that's gonna do, but yeah, they introduced like Channing Tatum and Jeff Bridges in it, and I just. I don't know. I didn't really care for that part. And just revealing that uh, Harry or Colin Firth was still alive, that kind of ruined it. They should have just left him dead like in the first one because it was a good... The way that he went out in the first one was a, def, a, really, a really great send-off to his character. But yeah, Kingsman, The Golden Circle, it wasn't bad. I, it, was, it wasn't the best movie ever made, but... You know, it, it wasn't bad. I, I, probably good for another rewatch, and that's about it. But yeah, tested this one with the Atmos track, and it's it sounds awesome as well. Tested it with the the taxi fight at the beginning of the movie, and yeah, it, it sounded awesome in that. But yeah, Kingsman: The Golden Circle wasn't bad. I, I would recommend watching it if you guys have watched Kingsman: The Secret Service. But I recommend The Secret Service over The Golden Circle, which, because The Secret Service is a better movie. But yeah, those are the three 4Ks that I picked up. I am still planning on getting more with new releases in that. And uh, yeah, so Age of Ultron, Deadpool, and The Golden Circle. So that was it for the Best Buy stuff. So now I'm going to show you guys what I picked up while thrifting. And I picked up three DVDs, so I'll just show them to you guys right now. And the first DVD I picked up was 8 Seconds. I thought I'd pick this one up here. I haven't seen this movie. I'm kind of curious to watch it as well because it is a Luke Perry movie. And he just recently passed away, so rest in peace to him. But, yeah, 8 Seconds. You know, I'm, I'm kind of interested in watching this one. You know, I'm like, I don't, I don't really know if, like, bull riding is my... It's not really my thing, but I've heard it is a solid document or documentary a solid biography effort and apparently this is from the same guy that directed the karate kid and rocky john g abelson and yeah so it might be really really good but this one is just kind of a bare bones release there's not really there's nothing in here it's just the disc but yeah eight seconds so thought i picked that one up because i heard it is supposed to be pretty good and i just wanted that one in my collection and then the next one is purely because I wanted this one in my collection, and that is Highlander, the director's cut. 
uh, probably about high time that I picked up Highlander because I do see it a whole lot and I was quite surprised that I did not have this one in my collection yet. You know, it's Highlander, you kind of have to have it in your collection. It's a classic, Queen did the music for it, and yeah, Highlander, this being the 10th anniversary Director's Cut Deluxe Collector's Edition, and this one is from Republic Pictures, so yeah. Highlander, the Director's Cut, and it does come with everything still, so definitely is a really cool find, and it is a pretty old release. Tested this one and the picture quality is horrendous on this one, but I never see it anywhere I want it in my collection, so I thought I'd pick it up. So that is Highlander the 10th anniversary director's cut And then the last DVD that I picked up here is a movie that I have seen and it is quite common I just wanted it in my collection and that is Slumdog Millionaire. This is a fantastic movie if you guys have not seen Slumdog Millionaire uh, Watch it. It's really good even if you're kind of not really a fan of Bollywood movies, it still is a solid effort. But, uh, yeah, not really anything too special in there. But Slumdog Millionaire, fantastic movie. Danny Boyle does a great job directing this one. And the writing is really good, and it's just a really engaging movie. So, yeah, Slumdog Millionaire, recommend watching it. So that is that. Anyway, though, guys, that is about it for this uh, shopping videos, so thanks for watching. Be sure to like, subscribe, comment, share. Uh, Twitter and Instagram links will be in the description down below if you want to follow me out there. Also, be sure to check out my IMDb profile page. A link for that will be down below in the description of this video. Anyway, though, guys, that is about it. Thanks for watching. We'll see you all next time.